All right, this recording I want to do from Tell Me Past earlier this month is called Tenant Using My Place as a Brother. Brothel. Dear Past, I'm 55 years old. I lost my husband three years ago. Live in a nice house that is mortgage free. We have two children together. Both of them live in North America and married. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not, um, I'm skipping over that. I'm very comfortable. My children told me to rent out the part so I can have company. Someone recommended a young woman for me. So I've rented the small side of the house store. When she came, she told me I had a boyfriend and sometimes he would stay with her. When I rented her the house, he came and she'd introduce him to me. No, here is where the plot thickens. But I'm very unhappy there because she's trying to turn a place into a brothel. Every day there's a new man visiting her. It was so bad I had to talk to her about it. It got very bad now since COVID-19 she's been working from home. Well, when she says working from home, hint, hint. So the man come to come on her to see her one after the other. Despite the epidemic. Yeah, I guess a good thing is, is worth braving, braving the virus. Go figure. I heard her talking to the man not long ago, and she told me that she, he did not give her enough money for her service. She told him that he had to get it from somewhere because she knew he, that he had it. I told my trust to go and told me if I'm not happy with what's going on. I should basically evict her ass. I don't, I don't want to evict her ass because I don't like to see but I don't want to see me in the coming up place. I think my husband's term in his grave. And so he should. Pastor, if you should see her, she's very pretend. She has a, has a good job. Well, more than one good job if if her accusation, if her theory proves correct. So she doesn't need to sell her body. I could have rented the mouse to man, but I believed a woman would be a better help to me. Oh my god. I'm sorry. That is that feminist crap is 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 so played out. Come on now. They're not that dumb if you believe that gender matters when it comes to dealing with, with a person's moral moral center. Come on. All right, and that's basically it. And pastors basically said, um, if you have, let's have some general proof, um, I'm not going to really take sides, but I just think that I have a feeling that this is very likely that this woman is basically, the tenant is basically a thought. It's very likely, I mean, it's not like they're going, these guys are coming into her side of the, into her room based to discuss, uh, um, um, to like, um, to, um, to, to have, um, to have cup, um, a cup of tea, or whatever, or this, um, or discuss, um, the, um, stock tri um, stock tips or anything. Yeah, there's a bit. They basically come and just basically lay the pipe on her. That's very likely because the fact that too many people of opposite sex are coming in your house, coming in her side, um, into her, her room, and so on, and talking like that. Yeah, that means that she's basically. Open, spreading them legs wide open. Yeah, I mean, the pastor can pretend that's not the case. But unless, again, it's just, they're just, um, these are, all these men are part of a Bible study group that she's having in her room. Yeah, I pretty much think that the, the landlady is pretty much onto something. All right. And yeah, all I can say is that, is this, is that, it's, um, it's, you can really think of it, is it new or anything? Um, No. Let's just say nowadays with the economy getting hard, hard, yeah, you're going to have a lot of females and yeah, men too, who are basically spreading it wide open because they want, um, they want to like make money on the side. And even though she says she has a good job, sometimes that's not enough. I mean, like maybe, sometimes not even so much of profit, but maybe just some people are just very sexually hyperactive and they pretty much like getting the pipe put into them. And if you know what that means... You shouldn't really ask me what to clarify that last part. But all I can say is would I kick her out of her ten? Um that's it, that's a good episode. If I were if I had more uh, moral objections or I'd say, um yeah, take your uh, I'd probably say that unless she has proof, definite proof for me, which is a tricky thing, cause unless it's state, stated in the lease that hey, you can't have you can't really be bumping and grinding. Um, in, their, in that space inside of the house, that's pretty much a very tricky territory. Because remember, the t she can basically said, um, that's basically that's basically a violation of her rights, her personal rights. And tenants do have personal rights to I mean, yeah, unless the land person dictates what can or can't happen in under their uh, under the roof. Um, that's she basically that's very tricky territory. The landlady is going towards because she can't just say, Hey, I feel more than comfortable with the fact that you're obviously a lady of the night. Because she'd have to basically have legal reason to evict her 
or so on. Because the tenant can basically say, hey, um, you're violating my constitutional rights. I can sue basically for this, for this and that. So, and so on. And yet, I know they probably lost it. Okay, if a land person basically says, once you get the hell out of their living, living, a, um, living place of residency, that's basically the end of the conversation. There's no lawyer, no judge that's really going to help overturn that situation. So, it could be that though. But this is a very tricky territory. I mean, I could say that why not you agree with the fact that she's ladies obviously thought. I mean, I basically said, okay, only thing I probably say is that if the boyfriend, main boyfriend, or unless that's her boyfriend knows what she's doing and he's her pimp, I'd basically take more umbrage of the fact that she's basically a, a, a thought, a basically unfaithful thought. I mean, if she wants to be a, a thought, wouldn't I not be in a serious relationship? I don't think I'm any more power to her. Well, I not agree with it. Yeah, I mean, that's her business. So, I don't know. This is a very tricky situation for me. But it, but the thing is, what, unless she has some real proof of me, like unless she says some moanings and some sexual, some banging, some head, someone's head banging against the wall. Yeah, this is really a hard situation to call, though. But if that were me, if I were a moral person, and I just pretty, pretty much stated clause, hey, no hanky-panky. Under my on um under my house, I mean, if you're gonna do, if you're gonna like really um get your sort get your groove on, go to a hotel or go to your boy main boyfriend's house, all right? That's what I'd probably say, but 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 that's all I can really say. It's a very interesting story. That's all I can really say about it. So this is for State of Jamaica and the Caribbean. Check out my YouTube page, Miles Goosen Farron, Miles G Productions, and Real Thoughts of Miles. Take care.